previously. Got a whole lot of nothing done. And so we go. Hello friends, my name's Little Knight, and welcome back to Paper Mario! I am, um, in the shop that Ishnel told me to go to. I have 20 coins that, uh, I got, or I have 22 coins. 20 that I got from Goomther, I finally found Larson. He was, uh, in a spot that was behind the wizard shop. And then he went and hid by the docks. And then he was behind the inn um, next to the building where the other shy guy that I thought was Larson was. Um, so, yeah, we got to buy dried shrimp. And then a dizzy dial. Oh, thanks, sugar. Yeah, yeah, here we go. All right, mister. What color is your mustache? Uh, yellow. Oops, what's wrong with me? That wasn't the right question at all. Uh, let's try this again. What's your favorite color? Yellow. Uh-huh. Well, you check out. You know the password. Hmm. I completely got her voice wrong. So, um, you must be an acquaintance of Don Pianta. Good for you. Oh, there's a door here. No boost when we're closed. You can go through the door. Go on with your bad self. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Yo. What up? Well, what do you, wise guy? I ain't too jolly today. You gotta beef spit it out. Quick, or this gonna hurt. I need to get on. I need to get on the blimp. Excuse me, you wanna. You want me to give you a ticket for the blimp? See now, to me that's funny, you stand-up comedian. No, you ought to be. You got some nerve asking me for that. I'm Don Pianta. I make crying babies weep. You want I should run this bum on, out on a rail, boss? Look at him. What the rube. He must like paying for the guy. He's just looking for trouble or what? I do not give a fuck about any of you. Not so fast, boys. I like this kid's confusion. Just came to talk, you no? Know? That ain't a crime. So we talk. You boys can wait till we're done before you wrap them up. Got it? So I got to assume you got the reason for wanting a ticket for the blimp. Out with it. I have a treasure map I need to get there. What's that? You want to hunt some broad? You got yourself a kidnap. And to rescue this dead, we are out collecting the crystal stars. Uh, yes, the crystal, crystal stars. Hey boss, ain't those things the legend about the ancient treasure? Really is such a dope. Hey boss, this knucklehead believes in fairy tales. Hey, your tongue. Don't listen to that lout. The treasure is as real as I am. Everybody, just shut up. I don't care if the treasure is real or not. To get me? But I tell you, I can't help but like a guy who wants to rescue some skirt he fell for. I made up my decision. You do me a little uh, favor and you'll get your blimp ticket. That sounds fair, right? I'm not entirely sure I like the sound of this. It's easy. It's nothing. It's less than nothing. Why does my foot hurt? See, the thing is, uh, my own daughter eloped with one of my young uh, associates. They vanished, but it wasn't too long that they did. They ought to still be nearby. Ooh! A chair fell backward. We got to find my daughter, Francesca, and this Frankie, and bring them both here. You are... If you aren't able to bring them here, then all you got to do is to tell me where they are. And then I shall settle this matter quickly, and with what is known as extreme prejudice. Boss, we don't know nothing about this guy. We can't rely on some goofball for this job. Yeah, boss, Vinny's right. Leave it to us to find Francesca. Quiet, you. It's cause you lugged, can't find her. Did I got to swallow my pride and ask this guy? I hope you don't say to make a complaint about my decision. You make a complaint? No, boss. Whatever you say goes, boss. Why does my foot hurt so much all of a sudden? What did I do to it? I don't know what I was thinking, boss. It won't happen again, boss. You the boss, boss. Good. Good. I'm glad we're full of understanding for one another. So it's settled, yeah. Find my daughter and her friend. Then come see me. Friend Tresca and Frank, you look like this. And just so we're clear, if you don't find my daughter, you're black making terrible. Eh, yeah, yeah, I don't care. I will go find her, your daughter. Just because I need to get on the goddamn blue. But if they're happy, I'm not going to turn them in. 
It's a fuck you. I bet they're really close and nearby. Possibly in the end. They are not here. What is this? I wonder what that's for. Why does my foot hurt so much all of a sudden? It's just like the side of my foot. It feels like I sprained something. How weird. Um, I'm gonna look over here. Uh, no, they aren't here. Maybe they're down. Let's go look at the train. The train's a reasonable place, right? <laughs> they're probably at the inn or something. Stuck on the light post. Okay, they're not here. Are they in some dude's house? <sighs> they're not here. What is up with this wall? For real. Is there... I can't see back there. I don't think they're back there. Is it down by the boat? They're not in her shop, are they? Here are they? Is that a satellite? Satellite. Hey, I found him. Oh, hey, back off, you creepy! What's I gonna do? Like siding up and people? What? Daddy asked you to find us and take us to him. Frankie, what should we do if Daddy finds us now? Oh, I don't know when the boat's coming in a minute. Doll face. Maybe we ought to head back and try to talk to the boss one more time. No, Frankie, don't say that. Don't you know what he'll do if we find... If, if Francesca, baby doll, if we could just talk to him calm like with the boss, you'll understand. Oh, Frankie, my Frankie, do you love me? Of course I love you, sugar cookie, more than anybody in the whole world. Let's go, Frankie, let's run to the ends of the earth if we have to. But, but a biscuit, they already found us. We can't keep running forever. We can't, Frankie, the more you try and put out the flames of love, the hotter they burn. Until I marry you, no one will extinguish these flames of passion. No one. Can you see, mister? I beg you. Pretend you never saw this. Can you do that? Oh, thank you, thank you. You're so well, mister. You're a real stand-up guy. Thanks, guy. I'll never forget you for the rest of my life. Totally still gonna go tell your dad where you are. Wait, is there anything over here? What? Hey, you're Mario. Uh, yes. Wow, this is so cool. I never thought I'd meet a celebrity out here. Ooh, I know. Do you want to make an investment, Mario? Uh, an investment. My name's Lumpy, and I'm headed out to dry dry desert to prospect for oil. I've lived my entire life hoping to get rich quick, and now my chance has come. But I still don't have enough startup funds. Can you please lend me some money? I don't really have the money. I don't have money. Fine, whatever. Be that way. I just don't have the money. I'm sorry. Whatever should we do? We have to say something to that Don Pianta fellow. I must say, though, I don't like a fancy run of terrible luck. That'd be unfortunate. What if we just kill him? It'll solve all of our problems. I don't think we should do that. That, uh, sounds like a bad idea. I barely have to brush the thing. It's just like, hey. What the fuck was that? Selena's home. Alright, back to Don Pianta. Did you throw something at the window? I don't believe you for a half second. You have a terrible poker face. 
All right, well, I'm recording. Where are you going? Okay. All right. Yeah, that's fine. Are they still here? Are they in the yellow car? I said, are they in the yellow car? That. Okay. Oh, look who's come back. The proverbial mustache. You're gonna brighten the mood. So, give. what do you got? Do you know the whereabouts of those two wonderways? I can't tell you that. What? I must be going deaf. Did you just say to me that you couldn't tell me? You come waltzing in here and say that to me. To me, do I look like a sucker to you? I warned you, wise guy. Fine, we're gonna need a mop to pick up what's left of you. Daddy, wait. Francesca. Boss, forgive me, boss. I'm sorry. I truly am. Frankie, so back you come. Head hung low with your tail between your legs. <laughs> they walk so weird. No, Daddy, don't hurt him. He's the one who said we should elope. It was still me. But Frankie said no. He said we should come back and talk to you, Daddy. Boss, listen. I don't care what you do to me. I deserve all for being disloyal. But you gotta forgive her. Forgive your daughter, boss. That's all I ask. No, no, no. I'm the bad one. It's my fault. If you're gonna punish anyone, punish me. No, boss, it's all on me. It's my responsibility. All to blame, right here. Oh, Lord. Ah! Enough, quiet, both of you. Francesca, my headstrong daughter, you used up your last favor long ago. And you, Frankie, you were like a son to me. Is this is how you repay your dumpianta? I feel such a disappointment in you, too. It's like a poison thrown in my gut. Daddy! Boss! I don't ever want to see your mugs again, you hear me? Get out of my sight, both of you. I don't care where, just go. That's what he expected me to say, huh? Well, that's what I am saying. Go, do what you want, even if it means getting married. <laughs> so awkward. <sighs> Enough already, just go, go. Francesca, seeing you like this makes me happy too. Congrats, both of you. Frankie. Oh, Frankie, this is great. It ain't quite what I promised, but hey, things turned out okay, am I right? Goodbye, Daddy. Farewell, and thank you. Uh, are you still mad at me? You're still here. Oh, well, you found out my daughter and got her to come back here. I'm just looking at how things turned out. What a complete another soap opera. But hey, a deal's a deal. You can have your blimp ticket, like I said. Got a blimp ticket. Who knew? That guy's got to smile in the ear. She's a happy, that's good. Hey, I know you were doing the right man for the job. Thanks a bunch, pal. But I don't want to see that gloomy face of yours no more. Don't ever come back here. Okay. I decided not to tell him where they were, but it all worked out for the best anyway, so meh. Mama, we've done it, Mario. Next stop, Glitzville. Indeed. Off we go to Glitzville. Oh. I got an email. What is my email? Have a great day. I love you. Um, Cole, if you're gonna stay the night again, or are you planning? Are you already planning on staying? Well, I didn't know if you were like. Alright, cool. Um, if you need anything, I need to know where I'll be. Okay? Uh, Actually, the silverware drawer might have a bag in it. For whatever reason. I don't know why it's in there either. Is there one in there? Okay, well, see, there you go. Cat, what are you doing? Look at the cat. The cat is warm. The cat is happy. Yep, they're gone. Where's my 
my twenty dollars in there. Your what? I got twenty dollars for you. Yeah. You got the black bag. I don't know where you're going. They left you. I don't know where you're going. They left you. I don't have any money. Might take the rest. Um, keep lost the wallet. Yeah. Love you too. Bye. Sorry. Coopley, how's life? Mario, Coops, how you boys doing? I'm just amazed. I had no idea a machine like this could be used to send messages. Technology, wow. I've been doing great. Drinking fresh spring water, picking wildflowers, polishing my shell. This sounds so boring 10 years ago, but I see the world differently now. Uh, I bet you'll like Pedalborg more than you used to when you get back from your adventure. Your adventure, Coop, Coops, Coops. So where are you headed next? I want to see the, uh, I want you to see the wide world son it'll be good for you but don't go too far past that front door haha -ha, from googly okay and they're leaving they're gone still have the puny orb what the hell am i supposed to do with that all right blimp time Yo! I have had my ticket, did I tell you? Alright. What's in this way? Nothing. And you're gone. Okay. I guess up I go. So. Something about that made me want to sing over the rainbow. Chapter three. Chapter three. Woo! Of glitz and glory. This is what I get to become an ass. Woo! Okay. Much bigger than this place. Hmm. Yay! Glitzville. My, 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 Glitzville. I've heard that the Glitz pit is just full of brownie balls. Bought brawls. I must admit, the prospect of some hurly burly gets me a touch peaked. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff here. Is that a pig selling hot dogs? Boy. A lot of rich people here. <gasps> Shines bright. Now, darling, let's find that crystal star. Hmm? I can't reach the sign bright. Wait, eh. I bet I could get it if I could just, can I get up here? Oh, let's look around a little bit. Fresh juice glitzy. I don't want to talk to all these people. I'm already losing my voice. Hey. I bet this does a thing. I was right, it does. <laughs> Fancy. Oh, 
I don't know what I got. Where does this go? Why did I do that? I don't know where that was supposed to go. I'm a hot dog. Aha. Hey, it's a phone booth. The local time is now snack time. Okay. There's a lot of stuff in here too. Some incense. Hi. You went up. Are you gonna hit your head? Can I have a hot dog, please? The aroma of my young in the air is a specialty of Gritsville. My hot dog's famous hot dogs. Only ten coins for one. Will you buy one? I don't have enough coins. It's too bad for you. Come again. Do, 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 do. I don't trust hot dogs sold by a pig. I'm sorry. That's weird. Alright. I guess let's just go save again and... Ah, uh, you know. I'm gonna end that episode there. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode of whatever it is that I make. We're not setting out. <laughs>